Good day everyone! In this video, we will be solving word problems related to arithmetic sequence and series. Let's go to the first example. Romel spent 100 pesos on September 1, 120 pesos on September 2, 140 pesos on September 3, and so on. How much did Romel spend in September 30? And how much did he spend for the entire month? In this problem, we will compute for the amount spent on September 30. To answer this question, we will use the arithmetic sequence formula. We are also going to compute for Romel's total expenses for the entire month. And to solve this, we are going to use arithmetic series formula. Let's now solve for this. Let's write the sequence from the given problem. On September 1, he spent 100 pesos. This will be the first term of the sequence. On September 2, he spent 120 pesos. This is now the second term of the sequence. On the next day, he spent 140 pesos, and that's going to be the third term of the sequence. Then we write three dots to indicate that the sequence continues. Since we're going to solve for the amount spent on the 30th of September, we have to look for the 30th term of the sequence. For the second question, we just have to add the sequence to get his total expenses for the entire month. So in this problem, we are going to solve for a sub 30 and s sub 30. Let's gather all the given values here. We have a sub 1 is equal to 100 and is equal to 30 because we will be computing for Romel's expenses on September 30 and then the common difference is equal to 20. We have to find for a sub 30 and s sub 30 here. But let's compute first for a sub 30 using the arithmetic sequence formula. So we have a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times the common difference. We just have to substitute the values from the given. There we have a sub 30 is equal to 100 plus quantity 30 minus 1 times 20. Let's subtract 1 from 30 and that's going to be 29 multiplied by 20 and that's going to be 580. Let's rewrite this equation. We have a sub 30 is equal to 100 plus 580. The last step here is to add 100 and 580. There we have a sub 30 is equal to 680. We are going to use this value to find for s sub 30. And then let's solve for s sub 30 using the arithmetic series formula. We do the same, substitute the values from the given. We have s sub 30 is equal to 30 divided by 2 quantity 100 plus the value of a sub 30 or the last term of the sequence which is 680 and then simplify by getting the quotient of 30 and 2 and that's going to be 15 and then we get the sum of 100 and 680 and that's going to be 780 the last step is to multiply 15 by 780 there we have s sub 30 is equal to 11,700 Let's have the conclusion for problem number 1. Thus, Romel spent 680 pesos on September 30 and spent a total of 11,700 pesos for the entire month of September. Here's another problem. A pyramid of empty cans has 30 blocks in the bottom row and one fewer can in each successive row thereafter. How many cans are there in the pyramid? In this problem, we are going to compute for the total number of empty cans in the pyramid, given that the bottom row has 30 blocks and got one fewer as it goes higher. Meaning, in this example, we have the first term which is 30, followed by 29, and so on. Let's assume that there is n minus 1 blocks at the top of the pyramid. Let's try to solve for this. Let us write the given values. We have a sub 1, which is equal to 30 because we have 30 blocks at the bottom row. The common difference is equal to negative 1. We got this by subtracting 30 from 29 or subtract 29 from 28. The goal in this problem is to find for s sub 30 or the total number of blocks in the pyramid. So we do this one by using the formula for arithmetic series. Oh, by the way, this formula is used when the last term is not given. So obviously in the problem, the last term is not given. So let us proceed. Substitute the values from the given. There we have s sub 30, which is equal to 30 over 2, quantity 2 times 30 plus 30 minus 1 times negative 1. 
The next step is to simplify this one. Get the quotient of 30 and 2 and that's going to be 15. We get the product of 2 and 30. That's going to be 60. And then 30 minus 1 is equal to 29 times negative 1 is equal to negative 29. The next step is to combine 60 and negative 29. The last step here is to multiply 15 by 31. That means S of 30 is equal to 465. There is another way of solving this problem and that is to use the previous formula that we used for arithmetic series. But in here, we assume that the value of the last term is 1. So, we just have to simplify that one and we will arrive with the same answer which is equal to 465. Here is our conclusion for problem number 2. Therefore, there are 465 cans in the pyramid. Let us solve the last problem. Dian bought an Android phone worth 20,000 pesos. If it depreciates by 500 pesos each year, what will be its value after 10 years? As you can see, on its first year, the value is 20,000 pesos. In the second year, it becomes 19,500 because of depreciation. If this sequence continues, what do you think will be the value of DN's Android phone on the 10th year? So in this problem, we will be solving for the amount of the Android phone in the 10th year. So we will use arithmetic sequence formula to solve for this. Here's our solution. From the sequence, we have the given values. A sub 1 is equal to 20,000. The common difference is equal to negative 500. We got this by subtracting the first term from the second term. And n is equal to 10. Our goal here is to find for A sub 10. So to compute for this, we are going to use the arithmetic sequence formula. There we have a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times the common difference. Next step is to substitute the values from the given. We have a sub 10 is equal to 20,000 plus 10 minus 1 times negative 500. Then simplify, we have a sub 10 is equal to 20,000 plus 9 times negative 500. We multiply positive 9 and negative 500. There we have the answer of negative 4,500. Last step is to subtract 4,500 from 20,000. We have the answer for A sub 10 is equal to 15,500. Thus, its value in 10 years is 15,500. Now is your turn to solve this problem. The answer will be given in the next video. See you! That's all for today. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned something.